Hello there, and welcome, beautiful stars. Thank you so much for being here today. What is your energy in this connection with your person, Virgo? We have the Page of Wands. We have the Knight of Cups. We have the Star. Wow. Nice cards. And we have, yeah, two of cups. Okay. Very nice cards. Um, what's their energy towards you, Virgo? Ace of Cups. Beautiful. And then we have the Three of Swords. So there's love here on both sides. And it's flying. Wow. Speaking of love, Ten of Cups. I love this card in this deck. Ooh, wow. Okay. We have two beautiful cups cards on both sides here. And the connecting energy. Justice. Okay, so a few of you might be married to this person or in already in a, like a committed relationship. But some kind of partnership here or you guys just feel like you are in a relationship even if you're not exactly just yet. Here's the page of swords. Okay, so... Um, yeah, I feel like this could, this either is or could lead to a, just a more dedicated relationship. I mean, it's just a dedicated friendship here. You guys are just, um, I feel like there's an equal attraction, admiration. Wow, Hierophant just flipped right off the top of the deck here. So, yeah, definitely, um, this is something, it feels like it's heading toward marriage or a deeper commitment. Um, you know, something you guys are maybe being kind of wary of the page of swords here. You're both kind of checking it out. I feel like you both have the idea of marriage or longer term commitment on your minds. So on your side here, Virgo, wow, it looks like you're really in love with this person or about to be. Um, I feel like you could be eagerly awaiting some communication from them. Perhaps uh, you see a future with this person for sure. You see this person representing um, hope for relationships again, because maybe um, you had your heart broken and things are just feeling happy again. So you're ready to move things forward with this person. I feel you're totally aligned and ready for this love for sure. I don't feel you have really have a lot of blocks to allowing this love with this person into your life. Um, so this person has the best of both worlds for you. They are someone you admire and they're also someone a lot of fun and they're someone you, you genuinely love as well. So you feel very much like they meet you at your level. So on their side, this person, um, we have very beautiful energy here, the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups. I feel like they have just started to fall in love with you as well. They started to see this future with you, but something is, they feel like something is standing in the way of, um, it progressing. Maybe they're, they're like, oh no, maybe they didn't want to fall in love. And now they feel like this is all they can think about is this future with you. And they're maybe not too sure how to get there. So that's why there is this element of like distance and caution between you two and not just fully jumping into this right now. But um, where there's a will, there's a way. It looks like you guys can get through this. So I feel like this is something that will be nicely in development over time. So what just came out for you, Virgo? Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So that could be um, literal for some of you here, Virgo, that you guys are, are like ready to heal something that maybe had split apart. Um, or this is just someone you've known for a long time and maybe you're going to get a relationship going with this person or just someone you feel like you've known for many lifetimes. It can be like a past life card. And here's pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So this person does have some red flags around relationships. That's, I feel like, why this Three of Swords is here. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. So I feel like they want to push this farther. They they want to jump into this, um, you know, with these overflowing emotions here. But there's a lot of fear here. I feel like they know that this is right and perfect for them. So they could still be just carrying a lot of heartbreak from the past as well. I'm listening to my intuition. So for many of you, your intuition is telling you that this is um, a good relationship for you. And next level love. This card's been coming out a lot this week. It's interesting. Okay, so yeah, this person, maybe they have some limitations and blocks to going to that next level in love. Maybe they've only um, experienced relationships that are kind of fulfilling 
And so they have maybe some healing from their past they need to work through in order to accept greater happiness with you into their life. And uh, maybe if you guys broke up, they still have some healing to do from that before you guys are able to come back together. We have, I hope you'll wait for me on your side. So this could be something that is a long time in development. I have so much desire for you. It's like the Ace of Wands. And I just wish things were different. Yeah, because you really feel like this is your person here. There's not a whole lot. I don't feel like I have a lot to say for you right here, Virgo, because everything's just like, oh, let's go. This is great. <laughs> I love this person. Okay, so Virgo, what about your person? We have, let me have you. Yeah, I'm really getting this person is feeling like this is a case of, I want you, but I can't have you. And look at this. This is the devil card here. So this can go with like, control issues as well. Um, maybe this person is starting to feel a bit addicted to you or they just want to come to you with a, um, just with their best energy and they could still have some stuff that they are working through that they, it's not, there's no red flags they see with you. It's more red flags in themselves. Like they're like, I don't want to approach Virgo with what I still need to um, control or you know, rid myself of. But it looks like there's a strong physical attraction here on both sides with the sex and desire. Um, and look at this. You are so beautiful. Why do you need me? As well as do you even care? So sometimes this person could um, just doubt. Doubt in love. Doubt in a love so great. And uh, I feel like you have shown this person a lot of love. And... The thing is, like, so I don't feel like they think you're an untrustworthy person or that you don't mean what you say. It's just sometimes that they just have a hard time believing um, it's that someone could love them so much because of, you know, being shaken from the past. And maybe someone made them believe that they weren't lovable. Their society made them believe that. So that, that is a hurdle that they're working on getting over. They're, need, they're working on opening their heart to what they deserve. Okay, and for you, Virgo, we have Mouse. It's a cute card. This card reminds me of Virgo a lot. Um, so I feel like you're trying to be very gentle with this person. Uh, you're really trying not to push anything on them because I feel like you do see maybe how sensitive they are to um, some of the stuff from their past. And so I feel like you're being very patient with them. Maybe something about them intimidates you as well. Maybe the strength, your feelings intimidate you because you weren't expecting to have these kinds of feelings for this person. I feel it's kind of unexpected on both sides. And here's the camel. This is a fire card, this earth. So let's see. I feel like this person is there for you. Like they, they want to make this last for a very, very long time. I also see this card as something where they aren't going to just share all, they, they might have a lot of emotion for you, but they're not going to just share it all at once. They're just going to, they're going to kind of like, um, little bits at a time, like maybe let you in on what they're feeling for you. It's one of those things where you just have to kind of read it from their eyes or their, their actions, you know, if they're, if they're there for you, if they're showing up for you, you know, and they, that's their way of showing that they, they care without having to actually say it. Cause I feel like this person, um, it hurts them to like talk about love. Like it's scary for them to open up and talk about their feelings. So the feelings are there, but it's like, they can't get the words out. Okay. Let's get some tarot cards, more tarot cards. So what else is going on with you, Virgo? Here's the page of pentacles. And uh, then we have the King of Cups and the Empress. I feel like you're doing a lot of just planning for the future. You are um, maybe even making some preparations for the future here. I feel like you you really understand and know that this person really loves you. I feel like you are um, just working on being your best self for this person. I feel like you're being very, very patient for them as well. I feel like you, you're not in a rush to get this person to like open up. You just know how it's, I feel like you just know how they feel about you and you're, you're being very like allowing with them. 
anything else. So you could be doing a lot of focus just on your own life and growing your own life, preparing a beautiful space for this person. Here's the Knight of Wands, maybe preparing to travel somewhere as well. Okay, so and this could be a card of desire as well. I feel that you have a lot of desire for this person. And um, this could be, I feel like this is a case where maybe this person, you're the more attracted to them than anyone else you've ever been. So it's like they've really, really, really captured your attention a lot. It's hard for others to capture your attention right now is what I'm seeing. Okay, so what about them? There's the Ace of Swords. Interesting. Justice. So I feel like they do want to have some kind of conversation with you or they're thinking about how can they talk about these feelings with you because I, or they want to have a conversation around where you guys stand in a relationship because they do see you as this um, wonderful partner for them. So I feel like they don't, they don't want to risk losing you. So they could be really starting to see like, I need to start speaking up a little bit more. I need to at least tell Virgo how much they mean to me. Here's the seven of cups. So this is a lot of this daydreaming, pondering. Um, what are the different ways that I can communicate this? I feel like they weren't maybe ready to have this kind of a awesome relationship in their life. So it's like they want this, but they're also like, I, this is not good timing because I feel like there's so much still wrong with me, so much that I just need to um, fix in myself and so I can be a better person for you. Wow, here's the lovers. So they could just, I feel like, they could just be really lost in dreamland around this connection. So a lot of fantasizing about you, a lot of daydreaming about the future with you. King of Cups showing up here as well. They know they love you very much. Okay. And let's look at your feelings. Virgo, what are your overall feelings about this person? Here's the five of pentacles. So I feel like you're feeling a lot of what they are feeling because I'm getting a feeling of um, kind of like, don't look at me. I'm not, I'm not there yet. I'm not good enough. And you could be having some of those same feelings here, Virgo. Here's strength, but you are overcoming them. I feel like you're willing to go through a lot for this person. You also have to hold yourself back a lot. Um, that's why we just have the, the page here and not the night because I, I feel like you do you do try to like tame yourself with them and here is the nine of cups um all right so when you're around this person you feel very very much in heaven very much in a blissful state so right now this is a very very pleasurable connection for you i feel like this person overall they bring you nothing but um good feelings maybe some of the battle is there, there is a battle here with your own feelings with um still having to deal with some of these issues of maybe shame or feeling not good enough or feeling some sort of lack. But um, I feel like you're willing to really work through those, get over it, because uh, overall you are you adore this person. Okay, their feelings for you, Virgo. Here's the two of wands. Here's the King of Cups showing up again and the Hermit. So again, I'm feeling like this person is um, just sitting with their feelings a lot, very much knowing that they have these deep feelings of love and care for you, and but still not too sure how to express them, not too sure how to act on these feelings. So I feel when they get close to acting on their feelings, that's when they tend to withdraw. When they're like, okay, I don't feel like I can control myself anymore. They they like pull back and they have to. They feel like they have to isolate themselves from you for a little bit. And we have the King of Wands here as well. They they feel the need to focus on themselves um, because I feel like they start feeling like they're just going to lose themselves in you. Um, yeah, this is someone who would definitely want to just kind of merge with you, and they would be happy with just you know sitting around with you all day every day and just being in love with you but they know that they have so much more they need to accomplish in life so um, that's why they do tend to have to break away occasionally and stop themselves okay um 
Virgo, your intentions toward them. We have the Five of Wands. We have the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like you're really willing to fight for this person. Um, really willing to take care of them. To be this long-term partner for them. To be, be a source of strength in their life as well. And here's the Three of Cups. And I feel you're, you're also willing to be their friend through everything. And, um, you know, go through as long as this will take. You're willing to um, overcome obstacles for this person. Here's the Six of Swords. Maybe travel for them as well. So right now, I feel like you're kind of dedicated to just keeping them, keeping their life um, as happy as possible. I feel like you want to be a very positive influence in their life. Let's see, what is this Five of Wands all about? Here's the Eight of Cups. So I feel like you want to bring a lot of peace to this person's life. You want to help them walk away from all the constant battling and drama. And you want that in your life as well. So you see this person as like this oasis. And um, I feel like both of you have been fighting through a lot in your lives. And you're, you're wanting to just be like, let's be done with that. Let's help each other through. Let's just be this peaceful place for each other. And here's the Six of Pentacles as well. Um, this mutual thing that you guys have. I feel like this is a very mutually beneficial connection. And their intentions towards you, Virgo. Here's the Page of Pentacles. So this person wants to give you something. They want to show you that um, you do mean something to them. You mean a lot to them. They could actually be getting a gift together for you. And then we have Death. And the Two of Swords. So again, they're like hung up on maybe some timing, like when to do what, what to say to you. Um, they, there might be something they, they need to go through or something they need to change before they can go forward with you, something they need to end in their life and they're not too sure when and how to do that. Anything else? This could also mean they're willing to really go to the depths with you in this connection. Here's the Four of Pentacles. So they are confused about how and when to open up more with you. So I feel like they do want to um, to give you what they can, though, because they they really are. Con it's like they're conflicted because they they really really love you. They really want you in their life, but they also know that you're not necessarily going to stay if they don't show you how much you mean to them. Okay, let's see if they don't tell you more often. <laughs> What are their main blocks in this connection with you, Virgo? We have the tower. So there might be something in their life that um, might come crashing down if they if they um, advance this connection with you too much. So this could be something that is um, causing this separation here, stopping them from progressing to this um, really happy, beautiful place with you. This could also be something traumatic from the past that's still kind of replaying, um, reverberating in their soul. Just bad memories and they're like, or maybe they like what you guys have right now and they don't want to do anything that is going to mess that up. That's going to tear down anything that you guys have built so far. They don't want to push you away. What are you thinking about each other? Here's the Knight of Wands in reverse. So I feel like there's a, a building desire and passion here that you both are resisting. And I feel you both kind of know you're having to resist um, just how attracted you guys are to each other. So for some of you, there might not be a, a lot of you, there might not be a physical relationship here just yet. So there's been a lot of tension building up. What are you feeling about each other? Here's the Four of Cups. Okay, so it looks like both of you have maybe kind of numbed your numbed yourselves out to some degree. It's weird because it I wouldn't based on all this, I wouldn't imagine the four of cups would come up here. So there could be maybe a lull in the connection right now, maybe some withdrawal or silence. Just maybe trying to like maybe you're both like playing down how you feel about each other. Because underneath it, you guys like really deeply, really, really deeply care about each other. The King of Cups, again, it's not a surprise because we have it on both sides here. 
King of Swords, you're both trying to protect your heart here and trying to be wise, not trying to make any sudden moves and being sure to not mess anything up between you two. All right, so now let's take a look at what you might expect from them in the next couple weeks here, Virgo. Here's the page of coins. So that showed up for their intentions as well. The Ten of Wands. And then here's the Knight of Swords. So something might be weighing on them so heavily. Maybe they've been holding back and then finally they're going to break through and they're not going to take it anymore. And they're like, I just need to tell Virgo something or I need to give Virgo something. So it does feel like some kind of communication or offer could be coming in here. Something maybe that you'll feel um, like a little more mutually cared for or seen in some way um, maybe they want to do some kind of favor for you maybe they want to help lighten your load to some degree um let's see anything else but i, I am just just getting like oh i can't take it anymore and, and they they need to relieve some kind of pressure okay wow the chariot coming forward and um the seven of wands so i feel like they're not going to be like completely open about um what they're feeling because they still have these defenses up um so let's see one, i'm just get one more card this person just feels like a little bit of a mess like they're very very nervous um about what to say to you it's like they, they want to say so much to you but then they're like no they stop themselves i can't i can't because they're really trying to remain in control so you'll probably just see this person still just trying to remain in control here's the page of cups as well but you'll get you'll probably get a little bit of affection um some hints of that from them okay advice for you virgo we have solidarity I respect the power of solidarity and look for opportunities to unleash it. When a loved one has to do something tough, I'll heed their often silent call and participate in the toughness with them. Everything is easier when a partner slash cohort slash sidekick joins you. The only thing that's not easier is feeling resentment, which I suppose is the overall point. Okay, interesting. So I feel like you've like, you're like really solid for this person. You've really been there for them. And I feel like this person wants to be this for you as well. So, um, I just make sure I feel like the advice here is just make sure you're not over giving you're not giving to the point where you would ever you would ever make you feel resentment because then things start becoming unbalanced so it's really good for you guys to just feel as in balance as possible so if this person withdraws you can withdraw some too if they come forward you can come forward um so just keep things balanced is the main thing coming through here all right let's get some message cards from them what might they say to you virgo Ooh, wow cards are flying today wow i'm not surprised at all i need space right now because they, they could be trying to heal this um, broken heart heal some pain that came up so they feel you with them and they like really really appreciate that mistakes are the soul's lessons so they feel like they're still maybe paying for something from their past and they don't want you to pay for any of that. So that's that's why they tend to isolate themselves. They just want to bring good energy to you. Be patient. So they appreciate your patience. I never wanted to hurt you. I'm sorry. You turned me on in unexpected ways and at unexpected times. We did see there was a lot of like passionate energy building up between you two. And then we have, I don't know if I could ever explain just how much I love you and what I'm going through. I can't, yeah, I can't put the words to it. They just can't not put the words to their feelings. It was love at first sight and my first true love. Nobody can take that away from us. And then on the bottom we have, I've closed down my feelings. I quit love. So I feel like that could be where they were maybe before they met you. So th that's why it's been a process for them to try to open back up again, to try to understand that there could be a different level of love. That's not what they've experienced so far. I want to give you the world. We had a lot of giving coming through here, but it's so far it's just a smaller giving. 
and I'm drawn to your deep intelligence and wisdom. And I love your sense of humor. So, wow, this, this person, um, they're really in love with your personality, just who you are as a person. And um, I didn't fall in love with you because I've always loved you and always will. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So that could be um, literal for some of you here, Virgo, that you guys are, are like ready to heal something that maybe had split apart. Um, or this is just someone you've known for a long time and maybe you're going to get a relationship going with this person. Or just someone you feel like you've known for many lifetimes. It can be like a past life card. And here's pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So this person does have some red flags around relationships. That's, I feel like, why this Three of Swords is here. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. So I feel like they want to push this farther. They they want to jump into this, um, you know, with these overflowing emotions here. But there's a lot of fear here. I feel like they know that this is right and perfect for them. So they could still be just carrying a lot of heartbreak from the past as well. I'm listening to my intuition. So for many of you, your intuition is telling you that this is um, a good relationship for you. And next level love. This card's been coming out a lot this week. It's interesting. Okay, so yeah, this person, maybe they have some limitations and blocks to going to that next level in love. Maybe they've only um, experienced relationships that are kind of fulfilling. And so they have maybe some healing from their past they need to work through in order to accept greater happiness with you into their life. And uh, maybe if you guys broke up, they still have some healing to do from that before you guys are able to come back together. We have, I hope you'll wait for me on your side. So this could be something that is a long time in development. I have so much desire for you. It's like the Ace of Wands. And I just wish things were different. Yeah, because you really feel like this is your person here. There's not a whole lot. I don't feel like I have a lot to say for you right here, Virgo, because everything's just like, oh, let's go. This is great. <laughs> I love this person. Okay, so Virgo, what about your person? We have Let Me Have You. Yeah, I'm really getting this person is feeling like this is a case of I want you, but I can't have you. And look at this. This is the devil card here. So this can go with like control issues as well. Um, maybe this person is starting to feel a bit addicted to you or they just want to come to you with a um, just with their best energy and they could still have some stuff that they are working through that they it's not there's no red flags they see with you. It's more red flags in themselves like they're like, I don't want to approach Virgo with what I still need to um, control or you know, rid myself of. But it looks like there's a strong physical attraction here on both sides with the sex and desire. Um, and look at this. You are so beautiful. Why do you need me? As well as do you even care? So sometimes this person could um, just doubt, doubt in love, doubt in a love so great. And uh, I feel like you have shown this person a lot of love. And the thing is like, so I don't feel like they think you're an untrustworthy person or that you don't mean what you say. It's just sometimes that they just have a hard time believing um, it's that someone could love them so much because of, you know, being shaken from the past. And maybe someone made them believe that they weren't lovable. Their society made them believe that. So that, that is a hurdle that they're working on getting over. They're, need, they're working on opening their heart to what they deserve. Okay, and for you, Virgo, we have Mouse. It's a cute card. This card reminds me of Virgo a lot. Um, so I feel like you're trying to be very gentle with this person. Uh, you're really trying not to push anything on them because I feel like you do see maybe how sensitive they are to um, some of the stuff from the past. And so I feel like you're being very patient with them. Maybe something about them intimidates you as well. Maybe the strength, your feelings intimidate you because you weren't expecting to have these kinds of feelings for this person. 
I feel it's kind of unexpected on both sides. And here's the camel. This is a fire card. This is earth. So let's see. I feel like this person is there for you. Like they, they want to make this last for a very, very long time. I also see this card as something where they aren't going to just share all, the, they might have a lot of emotion for you, but they're not going to just share it all at once. They're just going to, they're going to kind of like, um, little bits at a time, like maybe let you in on what they're feeling for you. It's one of those things where you just have to kind of read it from their eyes or their, their actions. You know, if they're, if they're there for you, if they're showing up for you, you know, and they, that's their way of showing that they, they care without having to actually say it. Cause I feel like this person, um, it hurts them to like talk about love. Like it's scary for them to open up and talk about their feelings. So the feelings are there, but it's like, they can't get the words out. Okay. Let's get some tarot cards, more tarot cards. So what else is going on with you, Virgo? Here's the page of pentacles. And uh, then we have the King of Cups and the Empress. I feel like you're doing a lot of just planning for the future. You are um, maybe even making some preparations for the future here. I feel like you you really understand and know that this person really loves you. I feel like you are um, just working on being your best self for this person. I feel like you're being very, very patient for them as well. I feel like you, you're not in a rush to get this person to like open up. You just know how it's, I feel like you just know how they feel about you and you're, you're being very like allowing with them. Anything else? So you could be doing a lot of focus just on your own life and growing your own life, preparing a beautiful space for this person. Here's the Knight of Wands, maybe preparing to travel somewhere as well. Okay, so, and this could be a card of desire as well. I feel that you have a lot of desire for this person. And um, this could be, I feel like this is a case where maybe this person, you're the more attracted to them than anyone else you've ever been. So it's like they've really, really, really captured your attention a lot. It's hard for others to capture your attention right now is what I'm seeing. Okay, so what about them? There's the Ace of Swords. Interesting. Justice. So I feel like they do want to have some kind of conversation with you or they're thinking about how can they talk about these feelings with you because I, or they want to have a conversation around where you guys stand in a relationship because they do see you as this um, wonderful partner for them. So I feel like they don't, they don't want to risk losing you. So they could be really starting to see like, I need to start speaking up a little bit more. I need to at least tell Virgo, how much they mean to me. Here's the seven of cups. So this is a lot of this daydreaming, pondering, um, what are the different ways that I can communicate this? 